Former Housing and Urban Development Secretary Julian Castro was one of the breakout stars of last night's debate. And while Real Clear Politics currently says his polling average is less than 1%, he is certainly hoping that his performance last night will cause that number to go up ahead of the next round. I caught up with Castro earlier today to discuss what last night's performance meant for the future of his campaign. What are you watching for Thursday night's debate stage? Uh, what are you worried about? Who are you focused on? And are you concerned that it might eclipse the moment you had? Uh, no, because I, people saw what I can offer. And I think they were very surprised. Uh, I believe that I'm going to pick up momentum and I'm going to work hard to keep getting stronger. I know, of course, that a lot of the news is going to be about tonight. Um, I think tonight what you're going to have is several people on that stage who uh, are going to have disagreements about policy, especially because you have uh, uh, former, former Vice President Biden and Senator Sanders that, of course, disagree on several issues. Uh, for the other candidates who are on the stage, it's going to be about them making sure they get their time in. Uh, I was glad to go on the first night and glad with the mix of people that we had last night because I knew that I wouldn't get overshadowed necessarily by having to be on the same stage with people who right now are four out of the top five uh, folks in the polls. Do you think Joe Biden has had his day? Is the Democratic Party ready or need a fresher face? Well, I mean, the voters are going to have to decide that. When I get out there in Iowa, New Hampshire, other places, I do believe that there's a lot of support for this idea that um, we need a new generation of leadership. Uh, I think it's fair to look at somebody's experience because that counts. I think it's fair to consider somebody's age, but I don't think somebody's numeric age or their experience is the most important factor. The most important thing is somebody's judgment. That's what I tried to demonstrate yesterday, and that's what uh, the person that becomes the nominee, I believe that's going to be me, but that's what you're going to have to demonstrate, and that's where Donald Trump has failed. Last but not least, I asked Bernie Sanders this question yesterday. If it becomes clear that somebody else is going to be nominated at the Democratic convention, would you leave the race ahead of the convention? Uh, that's likely, but, you know, I, I don't want to kind of... Um, I don't want to think about that scenario because I'm focused on winning the nomination, and I believe that... Uh, by February 3rd, 2020, when Iowa caucuses, that I can become a front runner, that we're going to get stronger and stronger, and, and then have uh, success in New Hampshire, Nevada, my home state of Texas, California, South Carolina. So I'm, I'm focused on trying to win this race. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.